，一场嚟到法国诺曼第，都会顺道去海盗之乡圣马洛查翻餐海鲜大餐。咁行埋够成场都够玩大半日。但如果你自认豪资，就一定要去埋附近康卡纳嘅豪场朝圣。Oysters need to be sorted out by size. After three years spent at sea, some of them will grow really fast. Hong Kong 啦，喺就系望晒 Michelle 对面，沿岸就有好多豪海。呢个养殖场每年出产八百吨蚝，仲有埋博物馆，介绍捕蚝历史、采收程序，同埋提供职场试食。我想食呢只咧，就系佢哋诶比较平啲嘅叫 Balong 嘅蚝啦。佢肉质咧就系比较实。呢款全世界出晒名嘅法国扁蚝，肉质爽脆，海水同埋金属味比较重，入口仲有回甘。We give numbers to them. We've got six numbers going from zeros to five. Zero is for a big size, and five is for a small size. Three would be the middle size. 唔同品种嘅大细有唔同分法，咁啊以为蚝越大只越先甜噃，蚝味其实同养殖地点有直接关系。Because it depends on what the oysters will be filtering and eating, which is going to give its own taste, not its size。另外一款称为 curve 嘅蚝，原种嚟自日本，海水味仲浓啲噶。呢度嘅蚝出晒名有 after taste。因为有大潮水为蚝苗带嚟丰富养分，采收翻嚟嘅蚝仲要严格筛选一轮。That's why you see some foam on the top, because they clean up themselves。咁吐完沙，仲会帮佢哋做健身操添。First they can be relaxed in this tank, then as soon as we take them out, like you see many pallets are out of the tank. That's to help oysters to survive without water, so they feel stressed and they shut themselves. 重复呢个收紧放松嘅动作至少一星期，蚝嘅肉质就会变得更加爽脆。This one sounds good. 每一只蚝入盒出口前都要经过汤箱检测，唔怪得知蚝场拎过咁多年嘅世界农产品大奖啦。